What's up? You know which direction they're waiting. Oh, right that's here. back in Pullman. Oh, okay. Is it yeah. back that way? Or yeah. Way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Coach Brown's been getting us right in the weight room all uh, all off season. We've been uh, you know competing every day um, in the weight room, getting bigger, stronger, faster. So, I mean, you could. I got Coach Brown to thank for this. <laughs> How does that help you out on the field? Uh, I mean. Football is a game of strength, so I mean, when I'm 6'4", 225, you know, and all the corners are 5'11", you know, like 180, I mean, obviously being stronger, faster than them is an advantage for anything. <laughs> what you would have us believe that it took you a while to, to realize that. Is that true? Uh, I mean, yeah, when you first get up to college, uh, I mean, shoot. I was going out there competing, but every day Coach Leach, you know, or Coach Nickel, whoever, you know, saying, Des, you got to play to your size. And then, I mean, I kind of got it, uh, uh, you know, like, they, they were just harping to me to start playing to my size. And eventually in the weight room, I think going out there, you go on the field, you get more confident with, you know, how you play. Um, I definitely started playing to my size more. Yeah, it seemed like something happened last year, maybe midway through the year? Uh-huh. Uh, I mean, yeah, you could say that. Um, I mean, definitely started playing bigger, I, I would agree. What have your thoughts been on Donovan Ollie, kind of another big receiver? He's mm -hmm. young and kind of maybe coming in, you could be telling him some of the things that maybe you had to figure out later. Stuff oh, yeah. Playing big. Yeah, Donnie looks like he's 30 years old right now. So, I mean, every day, I don't know how big he is. He's probably like, what, 6'1", 6'2", something like that. But he's, he's built. So, I mean, if he starts playing to his size, um, when he matures and gets older, he's definitely going to be, you know, he has potential to be top in the pack. How many times have you heard Coach Sprager tell you to, to be big? To be oh, big. that's that's, that's, that's an everyday thing. That's that's every day. <laughs> every year it seems like we're marveling over the depth of the receiving core, and every year it seems like it gets deeper. But mm -hmm. What's this year's core look like from top to bottom? Uh, I mean, I, I was I saw something that was like we're like 12 deep or something like that. I don't know exactly. But, I mean, shoot, I mean – we got the guys, so I think we got the guys that compete with the, the rest of the nation is, uh, you know, top receiver core. So, yep. Since you've got a little, you were thrown a little bit with the quarterbacks and the individuals. Mm -hmm. plans for you to take? Oh, uh, oh, my fault. Um, yeah, I always go uh, go throw with them. Hopefully, at least, you know, let Dez go back to the QB one time. I, I try to tell him, but I don't think he'll listen to me. We'll see. Um, since you got here, how have you seen – the guys around you just with recruiting get better bigger taller stronger uh i mean everybody says it's kind of hard to recruit to pullman just because it's a little small little town but when you start winning games people want to flock to you so i think that over the past four years since i've been a freshman and even the year before me we've been winning games showing everybody that we can compete with everybody in the, the nation basically so people want to go and win games and especially receivers want to come and catch passes so people flock to you know where they're here so is it as fun as it is kind of dreamed up to be that people talk about it being a dream place for receivers and quarterbacks? Oh, 100 percent. If you I mean, I think we lead the nation or we're at least like top three every year in passing numbers. So I think this is pretty much the dream for any offensive guy who wants to catch passes or throw balls. Coach Leach is, is as a position group is, is pretty tough on you guys. Do you think that's because you guys, you know, expect or he expects a lot out of you guys because you guys are so talented or? uh i think he knows that um we can be you know best in the nation so he just harps that every day you know he's so hard on us and i mean i think it helps us um yeah what's it like uh getting passes from gage what, what is it what is he like oh oh i mean shoot he's a great quarterback yeah nothing much more to say about that he's a great quarterback um, he's very good at extending plays, and that's not something you guys have had at quarterback as mm -hmm. much. Um, just so what is that like as a wide receiver as well? Uh, I wouldn't say that. I would say last year Gardner, he's pretty mobile. So I think, you know, and we got a couple guys back there that are mobile that can extend plays. So it, it's nice having another guy that can extend plays. Yeah. When you got to campus, did you think you're, you're capable that your body could look like that? Or, I mean, did, what oh, um, shoot. I think I got in here like 6'4", like – like 212, so I put on about like, what, 13 pounds. I mean, it's just eating right and Coach Brown every day, you know, again, attacking in the weight room. So I got him to kind of thank for that. Do you think the lower body or the upper body is more important for, for mm, a receiver? Shoot, I think they're both pretty equal. I mean, you can muscle guys off with your upper body, but you got to be able to run and jump and be explosive with your lower body. How, how, how much has Brandon Gray improved a lot? 
Oh, oh, he, he's gotten way better, like exponentially better. He's put on a lot of weight, and if you just watch one-on-ones of him, I mean, he makes guys fall most of the time, so he's gotten great. How much banter is there between the Los Angeles and San Diego guys? I'm, I'm feeling I saw a little bit of that today. Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, everybody wants to say, you know, where they're from is the best, so, I mean, shoot, I'm going to say San Diego's the best. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs>